This is a video that I wanted to do for a while because this 12% myth has spread all over the internet and now you have a bunch of people that might have never even been under 12% body fat claiming that you need to get under 12% to see your abs. The YouTube community especially seems to be convinced that 12% is the magic number to be at to see a six pack. I'm here today to tell you that this is completely untrue and it's a total myth. I'm not sure why or when 12% was picked as the definitive number to seeing a six pack, but I do know that associating six pack abs with a certain percentage of body fat is totally a flawed way to measure your progress. One reason why we can't see that a certain percentage is going to equal abs is because the way that your body distributes its body fat varies dramatically from person to person. One person can store most of their body fat in their thighs and hips, while another person can store the majority of their body fat over their abdomen. I've personally trained thousands of people with all different body fat percentages, and something that I can tell you is that a lot of these clients that were actually really lean still could not see their abs. In fact, even my business partner dropped his body fat percentage down to 8% after doing 16 weeks of dieting and still couldn't see his six pack. Meanwhile, I've done bulking phases where I was eating an insane amount of calories and I was weighing in at like 230 pounds, yet I could still see visible ab definition on top of my stomach that would be literally full of food. That's because I hold a lot of my fat in my lower body. My fat is mostly stored in my hips and my love handles and my upper thighs. Meanwhile, his fat is predominantly stored in his belly. So even when he dropped down to 8% or maybe even below, he still couldn't see his abs. And I know for a fact that I've had points where I've been well above 14% and still have had great ab definition. Again, this all has to do with fat distribution and not with the number that you get from mostly an inaccurate body fat measuring device. So that's actually another thing. Most body fat testing methods are inherently flawed. Even the DEXA scan, which is supposed to be one of the most accurate ways you can scan your body fat, can completely be off. And I've demonstrated this in another video. If you're using calipers or formulas based on measurements or bioelectrical impedance, forget about it. There's so much room for error, you're going to be at least 3-4% to off. Due to inaccurate measurements alone, you can't count on your body fat percentage to tell you when you're going to see those abs because there's no way of knowing. The good news is that as long as you use the same body fat device, the change over time should be pretty accurate. So if you're using, for example, a scale to determine your body fat percentage, the initial reading probably will be inaccurate, and so will the final reading, but the change over time should be pretty accurate. However, again, this does not help you identify a definitive body fat percentage that will lead to visible abs. The last thing that this 12% body fat myth completely ignores is that to see your abs, you have to build up muscle. Abs are muscles. There's not just a magic six pack sitting under everyone's belly fat. Unfortunately, that's just not how it works. First of all, everyone's abs are shaped differently due to different genetics. So one guy might burn away the belly fat from his abs and find very defined, symmetrical, six-pack looking ab muscles, while another guy might burn off the same fat, but because his abs are shaped differently, they're not going to look quite as defined, bulky, and symmetrical. Like I said, abs are muscles. So if you have one guy that has worked his abs very well with progressive resistance training workouts, and then you have another guy that let's say just does a couple crunches here and there, the guy that has worked on his abs with weights is gonna have a lot more blocky, visible abs than the other guy as long as his genetics aren't horrible. Which is, by the way, actually a totally real possibility. There are some people that don't work out at all and have ripped six packs only because good muscle building genetics and a good distribution of body fat. Now you have to understand that this is the truth because for me as a trainer, it does me no good to tell people that abs aren't as easy to acquire for some as they are for others. 
it would be a lot easier for me to just tell people that once you get under 12%, you'll see a solid six pack. And I have the perfect plan and that all you gotta do to get that six pack is just swipe your card. But that's not the case and this channel is committed to the truth. So I really hope that this video has shown you that this 12% body fat thing is complete BS. If you wanna see your abs, work on using weights for almost all of your ab exercises and work on increasing that weight load over time, just like you would any other muscle. Simultaneously, you wanna also work on dropping body fat and there is no number that I can give you to shoot for because again, it's all dependent on your fat distribution. So all you can do is just continue leaning out until you see them. And again, remember that your abs may never look the same as someone else's in regard to definition, shape, and symmetry. And there's nothing at all wrong with that. So that's it. I hope this video has helped you guys. And remember to leave this video a thumbs up comment below, subscribe to this channel to see more tips and tricks and no BS fitness tips. Pump it.